Hi everyone, this is Mike from Dynamic Point. Today we're going to be looking at our Office 365 portal application in conjunction with contract um, administration and management. So that's the focus of today. Um, the steps we'll be looking at from a demonstration perspective is the concept of a contract or customer contract expiring. And we want to send notification of this contract expiring and then obviously an invitation to renew it. Um, the renewal process, so we want our customer to log on and obviously fill out the required forms and renew um, or whatever is required for the, the renewal process. And then lastly, we are going to have a managerial approval of that request as well as automatic update of any details in the ERP application for the contract that has just been uh, renewed. So those are the steps we're going to go through today. It should be pretty quick. I'm going to start off here with our customer portal. And as you can see, you know, the scope of today's call is not to go through the details of the customer portal, but this is using an Office 365 SharePoint site with integration to my ERP application. So I could see such things as orders and invoices and create returns, but we're going to skip all of that and look at contracts in the system. So this is actually pulling contracts directly from my underlying ERP. Um, so here I have a, just a brief view of all of my contracts that are assigned to this customer as well as the start date and the expiration date. And for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to pick one. And by clicking the Renew button there, you see I'm presented with a little message saying you're going to receive an email with further information. Reason being is my contract renewal process, unfortunately, isn't just as simple as clicking on the button. Um, there's some more documentation that's required of the customer. So now I'm going to pretend to be the customer. And what that kicked off was a Power Automate workflow um, with integration to a DocuSign template. So you can see I have a you know, simple notification here of this new contract and an invitation to complete it. So let's go ahead and click on this link. Again, this is using um, Power Automate's integration with um, DocuSign. It doesn't have to be DocuSign. There's plenty of other tools out there as well. Uh, but now I presented the user with my end user licensing agreement, um, which is serving as my demonstration for a contract. And I want to capture their electronic signature. So my form is pretty simple. I didn't really gather a lot of data other than present them with a the contract and capture their signature. And then I want to go ahead and complete this process. So if you recall back to my um, diagram that I introduced this with, after the renewal, I want that to go for an internal approval. So I want to present either a contract administrator or someone from an account manager perspective with this reviewed contract so they could review it and make sure all looks good. So I'm going to go ahead back to my email. And what you can see here is I've been presented with a Power Automate approval action. So I have a new contract um, has been received, as well as a link to that new contract and the ability to approve or reject it directly from the email. So if I click that link, it's going to drill me into the contract that was just completed. So I can say, hey, everything looks good here and make sure that the customer did their part correctly. As well as you can see, it's been saved um, to that document library. So I've actually saved that document directly to a SharePoint library for safekeeping. And then I could choose to prove or reject this. So I'll say this looks good and submit it. That will um, continue the workflow, which um, the last and final step of my workflow after the internal approval is notification, right? So the customer now receives a notification. Your contract's been renewed for another year. Um, you could go ahead and look at it here. And then if you recall, I started this from the customer portal page and I clicked on this last one, I believe, and my contract terms are a year. So if I were to refresh this page, you could see that the renewal date has been updated um, to a year from now in the underlying ERP application as well. So I ended the process by um, sending them a reminder or a notification, I should say, of the contract being renewed and then lastly, updated the ERP with whatever I captured from the contract as well as the new renewal date. That was it for today. Thank you for joining.